Spokane's Post Street Bridge. This bridge connecting the north and south banks of the Spokane River behind City Hall is the oldest standing bridge in downtown Spokane. First constructed of wood in 1885, it was replaced by a steel structure in 1898. After collapsing in 1917, killing three, the bridge was built on a site, this time made of concrete. It's crumbling today, the Post Street Bridge behind us uh, does double duty in the dark annals of Spokane's troubled history. First and perhaps foremost, but who could use such a word in context, the Post Street Bridge is the city's infamous lover's leap. And this had been so since 27-year-old Adolf Maximilian Skeel Hilgard shot himself and fell 46 feet down to the Spokane River from the bridge and floated over the lower falls in 1896. Young Max was a privileged young lawyer from a privileged, privileged Eastern family where he arrived in Spokane in 1892, where he was an instant celebrity among the city's upper echelon and social circles. It wasn't because of his achievements, uh, because he didn't really have any, it was more or less because of the fact that his fame was due to the fact that he liked Henry Billiard's nephew, nephew. Billiard was the president of Northern Pacific Railroad and was very rich and very powerful and left all of his money to Max. So Max basically gambled it away with his winning smile and charismatic attitude. In no time at all, he became engaged and married to an extraordinarily beautiful first cousin who lived in Lewiston, 100 miles south of Spokane. Don't be shocked by this. Rich and powerful people could arrange to marry their first cousins in those days and it was all okay. Anyway, they got engaged and the plan was for the beautiful cousins to get together her wedding trousseau and make it uh, and make some expensive, very elaborate plans for a Spokane wedding while well, he carried on his practice in the city. Um, the primary practices he engaged in, though, were drinking, carousing, and attending extravagant galas in Spokane. He excelled at this and he loved doing it. He had a favorite beverage of French cognac, not American apple brandy. No, it had to be French cognac. And he would drink it, pull a whole bottle at a party and get really silly. And so, um, it's not much a flight at all for a little birdie to travel down from Spokane to Lewiston, Idaho. Little did he realize that his beautiful fiance was the youngest founding member of the Northern Idaho Christian Women's Temperance Union. And she had taken a solemn pledge to not be anywhere around alcohol and to never let alcohol touch her lips. And so because of his gallivanting, she wrote him a Dear Max letter breaking off the engagement and also severely reprimanded Max for embarrassing their uncle Henry Villiard because, of course, Mac Max's uncle Henry, Henry Villiard was also her uncle Henry Villiard. When he received a letter, he was distraught. And because of that, he got drunk, and shot himself, and fell into the Spokane River. That is the legend of Lover's Leap, and that's why it's been called Lover's Leap. And to this day, um, well, people take the, the jump for love. This is the actual bridge. Let's do 